Hello, my name is Mark Diaz, and I'm going to be presenting Agile Zen by Raleigh Software. For some background, Raleigh Software is a company focused on providing Agile solutions for businesses. As a proponent of Agile, Raleigh provides free educational materials on their website for Agile methodologies and also produces a powerful platform for Agile businesses. Raleigh is very powerful, but they also produce a smaller product for smaller projects called Agile Zen that we are here to talk about. Let's rewind a little more and talk about Agile for a second. At a very high level, one of the main principles is develop minimal software. With that being said, there are many forms that Agile can take, but Agile Zen, unsurprisingly, based on its name, focuses on Kanban. Information on Agile and Kanban is widely available, but the main takeaway from the Kanban methodology is to visualize your workflow. This is where the eponymous Kanban, or signboard, comes into play, and by firing up a new project, we can see it right away. As you can see, we have a handful of tabs available to us. Something cool about Agile Zen is its integrations, and right off the bat, we can set up integration with HipChat or Campfire. Integrations will take the spotlight later. Let's look around. Clicking on Board will take us to the Kanban, which by default is outfitted with Ready, Working, and Complete, as well as a backlog and an archive where completed stories go to live. The Work tab is just an itemized look at all of the stories in your project. The Performance tab gives you the velocity as well as other metrics. It's important to note that, as Agile Zen is focused on the Kanban methodology, it has no concept of an iteration. Uh, you can fake an iteration, however, using deadlines and filters. The People tab is where you can manage your team's access. It's very easy to invite someone to be a collaborator on your project. The Process tab is where you can define the workflow for your user stories. It's very simple to add or edit a phase. Going into the settings, we can find a Notifications tab where you can set up notifications for yourself through a few different mechanisms. In here is the Developer tab where you can acquire API keys for further integrations. Empty projects are pretty boring, so let's head over into Magical Demo Land. If you notice these kinds of things, you'll find that the interface doesn't really have any decorations. There are arrows that indicate that a menu item can be expanded upon. Clicking on Discuss will bring down a chat window where you can communicate with your team. This feature, I think, is more of a necessity for having your product be considered than a purely useful feature. For a project management application where team members may be physically disparate, this feature is a must. However, in teams who are localized, this will be used very little. The difference in the Discuss feature for Agile Zen is the elegance in which it is integrated into the interface. Agile Zen is a very simple application and you will find it easy to use and to work with. Similarly, you can drop down a filter box which will allow you to filter out stories you don't wish to see. With an appropriate convention, you could have several teams working on the same board at the same time, without the clutter. Filters can also be saved and shared. Adding a story is as easy as clicking on Add and then filling in the fields that you require. Agile Zen offers eight card colors on top of the fields like Estimation, Priority, Deadline, and Tags. In the Add pane, you can also quickly add some more detail or tasks for stories. From here, we can then add the story to the backlog or hang the story directly on the board. By clicking on a story card, you will reveal some buttons for quickly interacting with the story. These actions include almost everything from the detailed story view, but without ever leaving the board. You can add tags, change its color, add or edit tasks, attach files, create new comments, 
or make a story blocked or ready. Blocking a story and including a reason makes it very apparent to a casual observer that something is wrong. This type of instant and intrinsic communication is where Agile Zen shines. The block can be removed manually, however moving the card to the next phase will also remove the block. If we want to go into detail about a story, we can click on the magnifier next to the story's ID. At this point, our board is replaced with a detailed view of the story which can help for large or complicated stories as it dedicates more screen real estate to details, comments, tasks, attachments, and, importantly, the history of the story which is essentially an audit log. You can also continue to work on a story in this view and even move it through the phases. Agile Zen definitely has a great interface, but if you look at the URL, you'll notice that it is RESTful, which would imply that there is some type of web service in the background, and it turns out that there is. The Agile Zen API is well documented and easy to use. You can write your own app, write some custom integrations, or use the stuff that the great folks at Zapier put together to easily integrate Agile Zen with other services without writing a line of code. Just copy and paste and point and click. Diving under the hood, Agile Zen includes a developer console where you can try out some API calls. However, caution should be used because these calls are live. Ask me how I know. Once you've got the hang of it, you can even write your own apps. Zapier makes integrating two services a breeze. I've already created an API key for Zapier in Agile Zen, and I've also created a Notify My Android account. In my Zapier account, I've already imported the API keys, so it won't ask me for them anymore. Using Zapier, I can say that I want to create a Zap with Agile Zen. By exploring Zaps, I can reuse ones that have already been created, or even get better ideas, like creating an Agile Zen card from an inbound email. For this example, we are going to use Notify My Android to create a notification for instances where stories are moved into the accepted phase. This process is very straightforward, however some familiarity with the data and some trial and error may be involved.
Agile Zen also comes with some nice built-in integrations like GitHub. By referencing a story ID in your commit message, Agile Zen can add a reference to the commit on the story card. This is done using GitHub's webhooks and APIs. And there we have Agile Zen. Simple, visual, and collaborative. For more information, take a look around at agilezen.com. They have plenty of documentation. Thank you.